What's up guys? See boys Pilot 2K7 back for a brand new Grand Auto 5 real life mod video. Today we're starting out at our county location for our tow company Ace Towing and the goal for today is to go purchase some brand new big tex trailers. So I was thinking about which truck I was going to use to go pick up the trailer. I actually wanted to use the Freightliner because the Freightliner I actually have the um, attachment on it already too. So I could have connected it with this, but it didn't really connect properly. So you know what? We're just going to roll with the Ram 3500 instead. I wanted to use a Freightliner just because we were able, we would be able to carry more with the Freightliner since it's a bigger truck. It could handle more weight, but it's okay. The uh, Ram 3500 is not going to let us down. So let's go ahead and hop into the truck and let's get started. Hope you guys are having a great day, by the way, and thank you for tuning in. And let's go ahead and get this episode started. So we're going to head up to Polito Bay today to a uh, local dealer. I believe it's called Big Red. We purchase stuff from them all the time. They sell equipment. They sell heavy duty uh, machinery, equipment, trailers. They sell a whole bunch of stuff. And plus they repair everything as well. So we're going to head up there and go purchase some trailers. We're going to probably buy some 20 and some 40 foot uh, gooseneck trailers currently we're only running 40 foot pj trailers and i figured we'll try something new so definitely want to get some of those 20 foot uh big text trailers and i'll probably get a couple 40 foots as well now i'm not sure how many i'm going to be able to haul with this truck i'm hoping we could get maybe why does it look like my it looks like my brake lights are on for some reason I'm not sure about that sorry about that but yeah like i was saying i'm not sure how many we're gonna be able to haul i know we could carry at least three i may try to get four though we may have to really push the limits but we'll see how it goes depending on how high we can stack them up and everything like that but anyway let's uh get up to Polito bay This is one of our newest trucks in the fleet as well. This is the 2019 Ram. Definitely one of my favorite trucks. We don't use it as much, but it's, it's a nice truck. Definitely does pull its weight around here. Oh yeah, also guys, make sure you check out the two previous episodes too. Uh, we got a new toy hauler from the shop, and then we also got a new welding rig, the new GMC welder. So make sure you check out those two videos. They were pretty good. And um, yeah, a lot of there's a lot of mods out. <laughs> there's a lot of mods out that I'm still trying to catch up. Oh, whoa. Is that person drunk or something? He just hit that other car too. But yeah, there's a lot of new mods that I'm going to try to get into the game and try out and showcase for you guys. So make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications. That way you'll be notified whenever I post a new GTA 5 mod video. Hey, there goes one of our flatbed trucks. You guys already know, Ace Towing, we always out here working 24-7. We out here. And I will be doing some towing videos soon. I know you guys have been asking me and probably next week we'll be back to our towing, both light duty and heavy duty. Actually, I have some new tow trucks too, speaking of that. Um, I have a couple of new tow trucks I have to show you and then I also have a couple of new tow trucks I'm gonna put in service as well. So we'll take them on their first tow calls, make sure that they perform how they're supposed to. And um, yeah. All right, so we're coming up on Polito Bay. That was another one of our trucks. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was one of our 24-hour roadside assistant Ford trucks.
Make a right on the red, buddy. Just pass it. Oh no, it's up on this next block here. So here it is. Oh, it's just called red. So I thought it was called big reds. Oh shoot, they they got four trailers stacked for us guys. I think that's ours. I'm pretty sure that's ours right there. Right, let's go ahead and uh, put the tailgate down. All right. Hey, how you doing? Is that my order? Awesome, awesome. Okay, so it looks like we're able to get four of them stacked up. I'll take all four. Perfect. So we got two 20 foots on top and then two 40 foots on the bottom. Perfect. All right. So they already have everything ready to go. So all I got to do is sign on the dotted line. And we are able to take that. All right, thank you, sir. Nice doing business with you. All right, cool. All right, so let's just take a look, make sure everything is secured here. One thing you guys are going to notice is that, like, the, the legs are up on the top three because once you attach them, the way GTA 5 is, it thinks it's attached to a truck, so it puts the leg up even though I'm attaching it to the trailer, but it's all good. So we have everything connected. These are big text trailers. It's actually the first time I'm trying out the big text trailers. So I heard a lot of good things about them actually from like in real life from a lot of YouTube videos I watch. People always say good things about big text trailers. So it's cool to see them in the game now. Huge shout outs to Bad Customs. And you can find these on his Patreon page as well if you guys would like to get early access to them. And uh, yeah, everything looks like it's good. I think we could handle all four, um, even though we're probably overweight, but <laughs> we should be okay. So let's go ahead and hop into our truck and let's connect. All right, looks like we're good. The truck isn't squatting. So yeah, we should be good. All right, let's head back to our shop. Now I'm thinking I'll probably, I'm, I don't know how what I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna take them all to the city and then I'm gonna figure out which ones I'm gonna take to the, I mean, I'm gonna take them all to the county shop and I'm gonna figure out which ones we're gonna take to the city and which ones we're gonna take to the county. Um, because the only thing our county location is just, I mean, our city location, we're just running out of space over there, but I, we could probably fit a couple more trailers. I don't know. I'll I'll think about it. I'll figure it out while we while we head back here. But um yeah, these look pretty good too. So all it is time for our uh, transportation company as well as our towing company and even our construction company too. We have been running exclusively um, PJ trailers, so this is gonna be our first time trying out the big text trailers here. Goodness. People walk like they got no care in the world. That looks pretty cool with all the trailers on top of each other, though. Uh oh. They're pulling me over for my trailer, guys. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh shoot, it's a police chase actually. I thought they were coming for me. Alright, we're good. We are good. It's one of those weird intersections that should have a stoplight here. I guess it does, but it only faces that way. Alright, I guess. Whoa! Oh, oh, they're over here now. Holy crap. Three against one. Four against two. Oh, shoot. Call for backup, guys. Oh, are they taking off? Oh, they're going to try to run away in the F-150. If they come this way, I'm going to try to block them in. Looks like they're going to turn around, though. Wow, that was crazy. All right, let's get back to the shop. Yeah, we're almost taller than the tractor trailer, actually. I hope we can fit in the tunnel without a problem. We're a little over height with that rear end there. Oh yeah, this tunnel is pretty high, we're good. If we were in the city, some of the overpasses are much lower, so we probably wouldn't make it like this. We'd have to take that top one off. Oh, are we gonna pass these? Okay. Yeah, we're good. Shores, grape seed, right lean. It was like deja vu of yesterday's episode when we were behind that uh, slow Ram 3500. If I wasn't hauling these trailers, best believe I would be passing right now. I don't even have a license plate on.
<laughs> uh, thing didn't even come down. At least they're flashing, but it didn't even go down. Oh, now it goes down. Is there another train coming or something? You always gotta be extremely careful at these railroad crossings. Okay, it's going up. Alright, so we are back at the shop. I feel like I should back in. Yeah, I'm gonna back in. Let me just tell somebody to open up the gate for us. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering how are we gonna get these trailers off of each other? Well, we're gonna use one of our heavy duty records for that. This would actually be a good job for our rotator if we had one too. Alright, I think we're gonna have enough space here. I'm trying to see how should we do this. You know what? I, we're gonna pull out right here. It should be good. All right, so let's go grab the uh, heavy duty wrecker. We need some of my guys to come help me do this as well. I gotta remember to add the ELS file back so the lights work properly, but it's okay. We don't really need the lights today. So we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to use the record to lift up each trailer, pull, pull the truck forward, and then uh, lower the trailer back down if that makes sense. All right, so first thing, let's put down these outriggers so we have some sort of support. Oops, there we go. Now we're gonna have to kind of role play this part because I can't actually lift the arm up. In real life, they could go up a little higher, they could extend out, and then you could use your lines and lift stuff up. So we're just going to role play us extending this out and lifting this stuff up. All right, so we're going to role play us lifting this one up in the air. And that should be good right there. So now we're going to pull the truck forward so we can set that down. It's kind of a complicated operation now that I think about it. All right, so pull forward. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I figured it would be kind of cool because, I mean, it kind of looks kind of weird just floating up in the air. But like I said, just kind of role play that we got the truck holding it. But I don't know. I was just trying to do something different today. And, you know, I'm always trying something new. So let me know what you guys think, if you enjoyed it or not. And I keep forgetting that, but it's okay. So let's get this down now. That was really fast. And let's go ahead and pull it in. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. As far as which ones are going to go to the city. For now, let's just detach all of them. Alright, going to use the F350 to pull this one out the way. I'm kind of excited to have the smaller 20 foot ones as well because we could use some of our 2500 and our uh, F250 trucks to haul the smaller trailers, which is definitely going to come in handy.
I was gonna leave it here, but I'm just gonna throw it all the way in the back. Since it's empty back here right now. Actually, no, we're not, because I gotta fix that ramp there. So let's set that one there and let's get ready to grab the next one. It's a large scale operation we're doing. All right, so we'll put that back here. We gotta back up the other truck now. You know what, just to make it go fast, I'm just going to stay in the truck. Alright, lift that one up. And let's pull forward. And we'll set that there. We also got to unfreeze it. Oops. I right, just got to do this one more time and we are done. You know what? Let's um, let's put this one right here just so we can kind of compare them. All right. So for this next one, I'm just gonna cheat. Put this right here, and let's get the last one up. So that last one is down. This has a really good, uh, good view, this truck. I think we're good right there. Pretty good for first person. Alright, uh, we can park this one back up now. And let's back the last one up. We gotta put this record back too. Again, don't worry about the lights. I'll have it fixed for next episode. Alright, perfect. Pull the 3500 back in, and we'll take a look at the uh, size comparison between the 20 and the 40, and then we'll probably call it a day.
So there you have it guys, the brand new Big Text trailers. Again, you can find these on Bad Customs Patreon page if you guys would like to get them early. And um, yeah, I'm excited to use this 20 foot one because it is going to definitely come in handy, especially with some of our smaller trucks as well. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. really do hope you guys enjoyed the episode here. And um, yeah, that's probably going to do it for this one. That is gonna do it. Let me know what you guys think about the new trailers as well. I think they came out really good. And this 20 foot is definitely gonna help us out. If you guys remember our previous video, I think we were using the killer rig to pull the 40 foot PJ and traffic just kept smashing into us. So now that we have a shorter trailer, they should not hit us as much, hopefully. Hopefully. And then like I was saying, I was gonna haul them with this. I'll show you guys how this works here so you guys could see it. So this could actually connect to them as well, but it's just a little bit off, so that's why I didn't use it. There you go. So you see, we can also use this to move around the trailers as well. Seems like we had. Wait, is it hooked to the hook? Wait, it's not supposed to be hooked to the hook. Oh, I was wondering why it was moving so much. I was like, that is weird. <laughs> it got hooked to the hook. That is funny. I think it still is, though. But I never noticed that with any other trailer, though. I don't know. I gotta look into that a little bit more. Got to set that down, and there we go. All right, guys, so that is gonna do it for today's episode. Again, I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.